what is up everybody welcome back to the burn down youtube channel so we're going to kind of ease into it this week what we're going to do today it's been windy as all get out i didn't really film last week i wasn't feeling up to it thank you for all the condolences uh for my little pooch peaches uh, she passed away last friday so we're gonna try to get back in the swing of things like i said today kind of keep things rolling and uh, keep on moving so first and foremost it has been like blizzard freaking winds out here man so it's been kind of restrictive like last weekend beginning of the week you couldn't really do too much stuff um, but today i feel like it's a good day to get the twin bago out i don't want to walk around there just yet because i don't know if the wind's gonna blast the microphone but we're gonna dig her out from the side yard i had everything cleaned out so now it fits back on the side of my house well i put it back there we cleaned up a bunch of stuff well i have another project that i showed you guys the apache we'll jump in that thing and drive it around too that thing is it's a chore to drive but um I'm gonna put that on the side of the house so I don't have to keep playing car hokey pokey. And we'll get Big Ugly back out over here. And then I need to start splitting my time between the Twinnebago and the Malaboom so we can get everything ready for LS Fest West 2022. Uh, I'd like to bring everything in fighting shape and hopefully not be down to the wire <laughs> as usual with untested stuff and on Struggle Street. Uh, that, not really not really trying to do that again. So um, I also have some parts. We can kind of run in and show you those. But uh, let's get some cars moved. Hopefully the wind doesn't beat the microphone up. We're gonna get the Twinnebago and grab some 85 uh, because I haven't put any in a long time. And I figure that way when it's out here, if I get the wild hair to drive it and we put some, put some fuel in it before fuel is like $10 a gallon. So let's get this thing moved. Let's say hi to the old Twinnebago. Yay, there she is. So let me move all this junk and we'll pull her out hopefully without taking anything out. And then you and I will head over to the old E85 station. <laughs> situated kind of put my crap away before I just go driving off my motorhome and then uh, I'll bring you back when we're on the road to get some fuel I should probably clean the window too because I can't see anything but let's get on the road before I run out of gas oh look who decided to join us say hi to everybody so what was your option your option was go with me or go with mom right yeah we're going to the gas station only where was mom going Oh, and you chose to go with me instead of getting cookies? Yeah, because there's that, um, I want to go to gas station, gas station is more faster. <laughs> Somebody found Roblox, so he just wants to get back home and iPad, so. All right, uh, we are ready to roll. All right, buckle up. You buckled up, B? All right, we're good to go. Let's see if we can make it on over to the old gas station. All right, ready to roll, B. The eagle has landed, and uh, we had to do some laps, huh, B? Don't turn that on, please. Silly guy. Boy, you wash your hands? Don't make a mess. No, just leave it off, please. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go outside, and we gotta get fuel. And then what else? Sugar. <laughs> Candy. Uh, we'll see. All right, let's go inside. I'm gonna get this spray. Brush 85. You hit the button. Right now. You want me to put it in there first? All right, let her rip. Look at that. You can go sit in there. Yeah, so this is a giant deal because it's 
fueling by itself. We're not leaking everywhere. I probably shouldn't speak too soon. But the last time we did this, if you guys watched me on a camping trip, I could not get the nozzle in and I had to move it, then it would fill and puke and it was terrible and my gas gauge didn't work. So we're, this is like wonderful for traveling. You definitely want something that you can just put in, walk away, eat your ice cream, life's good. So uh, I only put like 40 bucks in. We'll see how the fuel gauge does. Like I said, I put this thing in and then we parked it. So I'm hoping that the fuel gauge is correct. So. We'll fill it up, we'll turn the key, and then I'll show you guys if that thing moves at all. And then uh, we'll catch you back when we're at the house. He's already excited, I better go catch him before he... I got some candy, I think you have a piece. We probably have half of the thing gone already, so let me monitor this situation. That's never gonna get old. Oh, you gonna set a problem with me this time? We got seatbelts you can jam right there. You already locked in? Alright. That is sweet. That is what I am talking about. So let's put this on. Okay, now we'll have to see what the, let's see what the gas gauge does. So we have like quarter of what it was saying you guys next to this thing so we can see it together. When I put the key, it should move. Cycles. I think that thing's pretty right. I put like 40 bucks in, which is like 15 gallons. So it's a pretty good sized tank. Awesome. Hey, no, I'm not ready. Yes, secure the candy, everybody. Secure the candy. Look out. Secure the candy. You locked and loaded? All right, he's locked in. We're going to cruise on over. We'll see you guys at the house. Spot. I'll be right back. You stay in the Okay. That's the candy we got. Not really. There's Dane Tubbs. You gotta tell everybody what's going on. Uh. Did you tell them? What's up, Dane Thompson? What's up, Wes Thompson? What's up, driver? What's up, baby driver? What's up, candy man? Candy dog? I'm a candy dog. I'll eat this in one day. I know you won't too crazy. I will sneak in the No, I would never. Now you got to go to All right, we made it back from our little jaunt around. It took me a bit longer to get the thing out because I had junk all in front of it. Anyway, I went over there. We took a little ride with my boy. He enjoyed it. Mainly he just wanted to come back and play Roblox. I mean, let's be honest. But anytime I can get him out, uh, that's a good time. So what I'd like to do now is kind of show you the parts that I have. 
uh, that we picked up. Well, technically, we didn't pick this up. This is my torque converter. Uh, we sent it out to Ryan Jans. Uh, he deals with Florida Torque Converter. They got me all cut and cleaned, freshened up, ready to rock and roll. And then we kind of splurged and we bought these bad boys. So these are uh, Johnson Link Bar Slow Leak Lifters. So these are connected together and then they get rid of these plastic trays. I'll show you guys for those of you that are maybe not familiar with LS motors. Your standard lifter like that rides in these trays. And when these trays wear out, the lifter can wiggle and then they explode and they take your can out and they make you sad. And then if you're like me, you ignore everybody and you're like, no, no, it wasn't that. I'll just put it back together, not replace the trays. And you do it two times in a row and it cost me a bunch of money in lifters and cams. I had to get two sets of lifters and then two cams before I learned my lesson that time around. So uh, these lifters are pretty much there's Morell's and then Johnson's. People are on the fence on what's better. But anyway, um, it's a nice part. And I figure hopefully they can be in there for a while. I'm planning on putting this engine together and being nice to it. So we can just do like 60 foot and learn how to really drive the car. Typically, I just get in and we kind of leave like we're going down a gravel road. And, uh, you know, I'd like to make it a little more exciting and if I don't have to push the boost on the big end to run the number, if we can come out of the hole a little bit better. Granted, I think that's harder on parts, but it's more exciting for me. It's probably more exciting to watch. And that's what we're gonna try to do. So with that being said, um, I also went ahead and talked to Matt Happel over at Sloppy. Uh, he, they restocked some cams and he came out with his own line of cams. It's called The Best Cam. And I just kind of felt weird slapping these in. And then the cam that I have is still good but it's a Summit Stage 2, it was fine. Other than the fact that I'm pretty excited to get uh, Happel's cam in my motor because it's a 110 and a half LSA, and this is like a 113 plus four or something. The LS, I think the LS, I don't know, don't quote me, maybe I could put the specs on the screen, but it's a Summit Stage 2. Anyway, the LSA on this thing is probably better for turbo application from what I understand, but it makes it quiet, it makes it run like a normal car. And um, if you don't have the choppy chop, I mean, come on, what are you even doing? What kind of race car doesn't have the choppy chop and the potato potato and all the fun stuff? And I can't have a Winnebago that sounds beefier than my race car. So, um, and then honestly, it's not as much that as it is I like to support my friends. So thank you very much uh, to Happel for coming up with something rad that's affordable. Uh, go check it out. He's probably going to be sold out again, but um, it's called The Best Cam and it is one of the best stage two cams you can pretty much get according to the Holdner review that he did from what I saw. And if it's not the best there, it's the best priced cam. So regardless, it's the best uh, at something. And apparently it's American made and then it ships it from America. So he obviously either has them drop shipped or he ships them himself. I don't know how that works, but uh, you're getting a good product. It's not a cheap, cheaply made product, but it's a good price for hot rodders like you and for me. Um, so yeah, I pretty much broke the bank, <laughs> putting the engine back together. We're supposed to be refreshing, but I'm hoping that second time is a charm and I'm not a complete idiot. And then hopefully we can uh, work on 60 foot. And like I said, and keep this engine together and keep it in the car. It makes plenty of power. We'll run it, turn down for a while and see if we can work on the 60 foot and half track and all that. Cause I know where the dial is to turn the thing up and that's the easy part. Uh, and at some point, maybe I'd like to do that. But for now, I'd like to keep it in one piece because I have a motorhome that we have to build and then we're supposed to do a little racing with the Malibu at Alice Fest already. I'm already getting called out by my buddy F-Bomb again. And uh, it's really terrible because now that I have decent parts, um, when he beats me this time, it'll actually be embarrassing. It was fun when it was like even, but I know that he has nothing to lose and he will wood the hell out of that five streets that he has in there. And he's running nines with that thing. So yeah, I got my work cut out for me. So we got to bring a tested car this time. If I don't bring a tested car, everybody's just gonna wax me, which isn't fun. So I don't wanna do that. Anyway, that's it. That's my update. Uh, some of the parts that we got. Big thank you to Happel for making cool cams that we can afford. So you guys go check that out. Ryan Jans, if you need a torque converter, you hit him up. His link is in the comments section. Um, and then I also got the lifters through Ryan as well. So a big thank you and shout out to Ryan for helping me out. He helps me out with my converters and then some of my speed parts, <clears throat> excuse me. And then when we get to 480 stuff, um, he's going to be my go-to guy. So he knows Jake from Jake's Performance 
and they can talk or do whatever, but I know Ryan better than Jake. So whatever Ryan kind of, you know, steers me in the direction of when we rebuild and do things, he's already kind of given me some advice. Uh, we will do that, but that will be later uh, in this season. So that's it. I uh, feel like a nice little easy video, kind of a talking head video, but we'll get you guys up to speed and then we can start getting back after it, getting some work done. I'm looking forward to getting back in the saddle, back in the seat and having a little fun. So I hope you guys are looking forward to coming along and enjoying the ride. Till next time, I'm out.